This is DMG and the Big Pig, and we're making a rotisserie, a spiked spear trap. So number 60, spear trap. Okay, so we're gonna grab the wall piece as we saw in video 58. And we're gonna grab some kebab skewers. Nothing uh, sort of untoward. And uh, so just grab five of those and I'm just gonna mark them off two and a half centimeters, one inch. And I'm gonna cut them off. Now the trick with cutting wood, everyone asks me what kind of scissors am I using? These are just cheap, cheap, cheap scissors. The trick is to have them far back in the scissors. Push them all the way back and cut very slowly. And that should stop things from breaking and cracking. So now I just apply some hot glue and I'm just putting it in a figure of a five that you'd normally find in a D6. So four corners and a dot in the middle. And I'm just putting it sort of in the lower two thirds of the wall piece. And just stick the uh, kebab skewer ends in there. And there you really have it. So it's not super complicated to build. Obviously, if you watch video 58, you find out how to make the wall piece. So that's relatively easy. And uh, then you basically want to spray paint it to black. And uh, we'll move on from there. So I've just created a smaller sponge so this is about a half inch square sponge and um, I'm uh, just dabbing in the gray and white uh, paint inside and uh, it doesn't matter if it gets onto the spikes that's not a problem and uh, just boot to speed to speed this up a bit and uh, what we will do then is again from video 58 we're going to apply the um, the stone uh, work, uh, this would actually be from video 5 uh, on the lip there and you just see I'm adding a bit of a shadow at the base of the wall just to fit in with the tiles and then I'm just creating the wall stone work as in video 58. So again boots of speed just to speed this all up, you've seen it all before um, but uh, yeah go to town, you can create your own patterns if you want. And then I'm just going to apply some white and a little bit of grey to the spears themselves and don't really wait for them to dry while well, I just add some highlights to the stonework with white paint and then a simple coat of red on the end of the spikes and that will finish off the gory effect a little bit of blood spatter on the ground with the red paint and that's just to give it that gory look it's very simple so that's how we make a spike spear trap and uh, if you like this video, share it with your friends and then click the like button. Check out the website, the dmg.info, the Facebook page, the DMs Craft forums, and you can sign up for my email newsletter. I'll get out of here. Go back to watching Bambi. We'll have no Bambi here!